Hey guys, before we get started with today's video, I just want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon, Kittens. Kittens, thank you so much for becoming a Patreon and showing your support. It really means a lot to me, and I hope you enjoy this episode. This episode is dedicated to you. But other than that, let's get started with today's episode. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Martin Cross Nation. And for today's episode, we are going over the metal scar. Now, just like usual, I already have the metal analysis article on my website at khuxnation.com. So in case you ever want to go ahead and check that out, link will be in the description below. But you can always just click on it on the home screen here. In case you happen to be watching this video from a later point in time, you can always click on the metal analysis tab in the top right section of the corner and click on tier seven metals click and it'll be there for you to take a look at but on that let's go over the analysis scar is a power reverse metal tier 7 random target uh, has a total max multiplier of 21.9 has uses seven gauges he raises your reverse strength by one tier for one turn and restores three gauges and he also has a score of 35.367 basically the first thing that i want to talk about this metal is that he's basically almost quite literally just a reverse version of the King Triton metal that we just got not so long ago. There's two main things I want to say about this metal that are pretty much the most important about it. The first one being that we finally have a high damaging metal for reverse setups, okay? Because of the fact that this is uh, pretty much just like King Triton, as it is right now, we don't really have anything that is similar for as a reverse metal we don't really have anything that's similar to like a warrior of light uh, or a king triton for example okay we don't have anything whose multipliers are similar to that so scar right now helps fill that slot so if you happen to be running any type of reverse strategy at the moment scars your man okay this is the type of metal that you want to get if possible um, of course because of the fact he does have seven gauges he uses seven gauges you want to try to have some type of cost reduction skill on him if possible otherwise those seven gauges are really gonna hurt you <laughs> in the long run the second thing that i want to mention is that because of the fact that he, he is basically just a pure damage metal just like king Triton and warrior of light and whatnot um that pretty much means that he's almost always going to end up being in the pet slot or fifth slot of almost any type of keyblade setup that you have uh especially if it's a reverse setup of some sort so realistically he can go on almost every single type of keyblade setup okay of course he will just end up being the most useful in terms of reverse setups um, because then he can fully take advantage of the reverse buffs and debuffs depending on what meadows you have of course now i do want to state too though that now because of the fact we do have the hd dark riku uh metal in the game right now uh the dark knot is actually in a really great spot because now you can achieve a metal setup similar to this okay so we have our shioni x with a copy metal with extra attack okay that pretty much gives us all our buffs and debuffs that we need or all our basic ones anyways um as well as giving us our plus uh six reverse buffs and then we have the next three metals because now that dark riku is here we can now just have sephiroth here in the metal the new sephiroth ex plus have hd nomine i mean shion in slot three and dark riku in not dark riku, riku replica <laughs> in slot five and both of them are just copying sephiroth to just try and maximize that d that reverse debuff as much as possible and then that just basically allows the scar metal to just go to town and just wreck <laughs> a bunch of stuff as of right now just because of the fact that we finally have two reverse metals that copy both backwards and forwards the dark gnaw is looking to be really good right now um, i haven't compared it to the other keyblades just yet so i'll be doing that something fairly soon but it's looking very good right now and it can actually kind of should i say match up to the other uh upright type strategies now now that we finally have both a uh power reverse forward and backwards copy metal all right so enough talking about that let's go ahead and take a look at the actual stats that i like to do for my spreadsheets all right so first of all let's take a look at scar's score so scar has a score of 35.367 when we take a look at the list of tier 7 medals in the game and we it's already organized by score we can see that scar uh fares right here kind of in the middle ish okay which i mean is kind of kind of expected and makes sense in case you've watched any of my other previous metal analysis videos uh i've stated before that a typical that a decent tier 7 metal that's like actually worth like using and 
and decent for most of the time. A good tier 7 medal is generally around the 40 range. Anything below 40 and it starts becoming a bit eh in terms like of what's a good tier 7 medal. And anything above 40 is just like mind-blowingly good. Okay. So Scar fares just slightly below 40, which is understandable because he doesn't really do too much. He provides one reverse buff and restores three gauges, which arguably is just to help make up the fact that he requires seven gauges. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, he doesn't really do too much. He's honestly, a large portion of his score comes from mainly his multiplier, um, which is 21.9, which is currently one of the highest multipliers in the game. Um, so of course, if I want to go ahead and organize by total max multiplier, so I'm going to do it by descending. He, of course, matches up here amongst the top, along with King Trident. I have illustrated Diz on here too, because it's exactly the same. Um, but he's literally at the top, uh, with the other two. So he's currently the, the strongest tier 7 metal in the game, uh, in terms of total max multiplier. What if I wanted to do alternative total max multiplier? What about that? I sort that. And it's basically within the same spot, okay? It went down to like second place. The, the only ones going up to first place are the FFRK Terra and Warrior of Light, which makes sense because they do have, because uh, they do provide their own plus 30% guilt boost, as well as they also have that uh, minus two upright debuff. So it only makes sense that Terra and Warrior of Light end up being first place and Scar, Diz, and Triton end up being second place. Alright, so now after looking at all the tier 7 medals, go, let's go ahead and look at all the medals in the game. And like a complete list of all the medals in the game. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to look at the scores. So the scores right now, okay, are already organized. And if we try looking for Scar, we got to scroll down a little bit. And Scar ends up being right here, okay. It's not that bad, it's because it's not too far down. Um, because please realize that there is over 400 medals in the game. <laughs> so, uh, even just having to scroll down just a little bit, anything that's like within like one scroll reel or two down is usually a fairly decent medal. And Scar ends up being within that. That's just in terms of score. Again, uh, his score is not very high because of the fact he doesn't really do too much. He only he's only he only has uh, that high of a score mainly because of the fact he has such a high multiplier. So let's go ahead and take a look and compare all of the medals in the game with their multipliers. So let's do total max multiplier. Okay, so right now it's organized by the total max multiplier, and if we go ahead and take a look at that, Scar ends up being among the top, among with Illustrated Diz and King Trine, as expected. Now, for any of you who may be wondering, well, why is it FFRK, Terra, and Warrior of Light there? And that's because mainly the fact that Warrior of Light and Terra uh, do increase damage when they're up against a single opponent, which ends up being a condition that's not always able to be met which is basically the whole reason why i have this alternative total max multiplier uh next to this section as well um to help take into account like if you can meet its conditions uh what's its max output type of thing all right but as of right now at base uh scar diz and keen are at the top now let's go take a look at the alternative total max multiplier sort by descending and there we go just like i just said terra and where light end up being uh, in first place, while Scar, Diz, and King Trent end up being second place. And this is just to be expected, honestly. Um, I, I wasn't expecting anything else, like... Because as of right now, these are the only medals in the game that even beat a, a multiplier of 20. Like, just knowing this alone, um, I don't even need to do a comparison against the other uh, reverse medals in the game or power reverse medals in the game like I usually do I don't need to do that because in fact we already know that like well they beat all the other medals in the game so it only makes sense that it beats all the other reverse medals in the game as well that was it for today guys if you enjoyed the episode please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button it's the best way to know when I upload new videos just like this one as well as if you want to help show some more direct support for the channel and the series and myself as well um, go ahead and feel free and consider becoming a patreon it really means a lot to me I, I i do my best as i can to try to help you guys out so i appreciate so i really appreciate the effort if you choose to do so but other than that my name is brian from kingdom Hearts and cross nation and i will see you guys in the next episode peace